what's up everybody I cannot wait to make this video I was at a conference and at a town so couldn't make a video earlier but I am so excited I am so proud of Virginia and we're still waiting to see last time I checked on uh, Jersey but even it even it, with it being such a close race that says so much um, parents are taking a stand parents are taking a stand you do not mess with the papa bears and the mama bears you don't mess with our cubs you don't mess with our kids every like you know we used to know that you don't play with people's kids remember like you don't play with people's as we say cheering you don't play with people's cheering you don't play with people's children okay um so I am super, super proud of Virginians who said, no, absolutely not. I will be involved in my child's education. And I mean, McAuliffe, he ended his campaign basically saying like, no, and you're not going to be involved. And I said what I said and I meant what I said. And parents responded, well, we said what we said and we, we meant what we said too. And we will vote for somebody who knows that parents need to be involved. And so that just goes to show you that people like McAuliffe, um, these crazy left people, these people who, who claim that they care about American citizens, they really don't. Because everyone knows that one of the most significant factors in a child having a good educational outcome is parental involvement. We've known this for years. So the fact that he is out here saying, oh no, you know, we, we can't have parents involved. We can't have, we can't be having parents involved in their child's education. Let you know exactly how they feel and exactly that they really do not care about uh, your child getting the best education outcome. And so, um, super, super happy. But here's the thing. Yes, we won Virginia. And then we had super, super wins in Texas on school boards. We had, I think we're gonna have a win in New Jersey. I think America is speaking up. America is, is waking up to what's going on. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. However, do not get, do not let your foot off of the gas, do not. Because we have a Republican governor in Florida and we still have to fight for school boards. We have, you know, I, I was just with um, a young woman, January Little John, whose uh, child was being transitioned to another gender behind the backs of the parents. And this is in Florida. This is in Florida where we have a, a parental bill of rights. We have protection and the school boards and the superintendents all across this state are going against the law. They are breaking the law. They are going against Governor DeSantis. So Virginians, New Jerseyans, Texans, everywhere, everybody, if, even if you have these Republican, don't, here's the lesson. Do not rely on the government. I don't care if you have a Republican. I don't care if the whole state is Republican. Do not rely on the government to take care of things that you are supposed to be taking care of. That's exactly how we got into the situation in the first place. Thinking that, <coughs> excuse me, this, this, this gets my blood boiling, y'all. Thinking that we can chill, we can fall back, we don't have to keep our foot on the gas, we don't have to be monitoring because we live in America. Oh, this is not going to happen in America. Oh, we can relax because we got a, a Republican uh, legislator, a Republican governor. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Because some of them Republicans ain't all the way right either. I know right here in Duval County, they ain't all the way right. Up and down the legislator too, they ain't all the way right. They're voting all, for all kind of crazy stuff. Believe me. <laughs> Go take a look at our city council. Go take a look at our leadership in Duval County, okay? But uh, what the point is, don't rely on the government. Stay vigilant. This is still about your children's future. Because at the end of the day, 
they are the next generation. They, they are the ones that these policies will be made for. All of this spending in D.C., that will fall on your children's and your children's children. So at the end of the, of the day, the children are still the focus of, of, of all of this stuff. It's, children are still the focus on, of politics. The next generations. And if we um, stop being vigilant, we cannot get comfortable. Let's, let's learn our lesson. And we, all of the stuff we saw, now we're looking back and we see, you know, the critical race theory and the transgender stuff and the LGBT, all of this stuff has been being pumped in in mass for years. And we were asleep at the wheel. Let's not do that. Let's learn the lesson. And let's be vig stay vigilant. We cannot stop because there are still those out there who want to they want to remove parents from from the situation they want you to go have a seat over there and they you know just let the state um raise your kids y'all go sit down and let's just let the state handle it so let's make sure we keep our foot on the gas it is not time to let up it is not time to to give in it is not time to fall back we have to stay vigilant and we have to continue to stay in the fight for our children i mean I don't, this is what, I mean, this is just the reality of it. You know, because it, like I said, the devil has no chill. The devil has no chill, hunty, and he is always going to be coming after the seed. He's always going to be coming after the seed, and the seeds are our children. And so, and he's going to come after us. He's going to be coming after us, so we can't, we can't let up. But I am so happy. I am so uh, proud of Virginians. They, they said no. Matter of fact, they said, hell no. And they refused to let the state raise their children. So God bless you. May God keep you. Keep your strength in the fight. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.